In this video, we will explore the differences between POE switches and non-POE switches in relation to CCTV camera installations. This is an example of a POE switch and this other one is a non-POE switch. The difference between these two switches is not in their sizes nor their look. In fact, all these two switches have these ports referred to as Ethernet ports through which devices or cameras are connected into each of these switches. A key difference between a POE switch and a non-POE switch is that POE switches are capable of producing power to devices through their Ethernet ports, hence the name Power over Ethernet POE switch. Let's see this example. This camera can be powered using this POE switch. Let's see how that can be done. I'll connect this Ethernet cable into any of the POE ports on the POE switch. I'll connect this other end into a POE splitter. So I'll plug it here and you can see that power has been injected into the splitter as indicated by the LED light. I'll fit this end into the camera. The power goes here and the video. You can see that the LED on the camera is blinking which shows that it is receiving power from the POE switch. Even on the POE switch, you can see that there is an active device connected as shown by the blinking light on the POE switch. Let's try the same setup using the non-POE switch. And so we'll use the same camera, the same POE splitter and an Ethernet cable to establish the same connections or setup as we did on the POE switch. So I'll connect my cable into any of the Ethernet ports and connect into the POE splitter. You'll realize that no power is present in the splitter and so even this output will not deliver any power to the camera. But let's put it to a test. You can see that the camera is still off. What you can do when you want to use a non-POE switch like mine in an IP CCTV camera installation is that you will rather connect the network cable direct into the camera like this and then you require an external power supply into the camera. So I will use this power adapter to power up the camera and plug this other end into a power outlet. And you can also see that the camera's LED is also blinking on the terminal. The network switch port is also indicating activity on the network switch, which means that the camera is on with full activity taking place in the camera. Please share your comments about this video, but remember to subscribe to the channel and also give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.